Welcome back to the basement yard. I already know what everyone's reaction is going to be. Like, oh my god, they switched sides. Oh my god, why are you this guys is, sitting in your assigned seats? This is a... <laughs> Isn't that weird? Like back in like third grade, like when you how did get... we already start with one of these things? Right? <laughs> I know, right? But if, isn't no, that weird? But like in third grade, right? When yeah. you would go on like a school trip, yeah, and you would sit on a particular seat in the bus, <laughs> you automatically you just would... said particular. What a, uh, particular? Yeah, sorry. You would sit at a particular spot. Yeah, I tried to sound smart today. It's not working. Okay, doesn't work most days, but. Anyway, before before I was so rudely interrupted, I'm so sorry. No, it's all right. Um, you automatically, when, like on a field trip, you get off, enjoy the field trip, go to the zoo, do whatever you do, yeah. and then you come back, you go right back to that seat. Yeah, it. Yeah, we've been just like kind of conditioned to sitting in the same spots. You because know, because like when we had dinner growing up, on the days that we did have din- dinner together, like as a family, like everyone sat in the same spot every time. Yeah. And, like, in college, when I was there, um, even in high school... You would sit in the same spot. You would sit in the same spot. Same but spot it's in not, the cafeteria. It's not assigned seats. It's not. But, but everyone just accepts their place. Yep. Isn't that weird? I mean, I think we are creatures of habit. That's human conditioning, though. Yeah, I think that someone made, is trying to turn us into a, you know... Like, if you walked into a class... Yeah. And you've been sitting there the whole semester, and then you came in and somebody was sitting in that seat... Part of me would be like, the fuck? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Were you in front of the class or back of the class? Well, guy? I was back of the class just because of my last name. They usually put you in alphabetical order. What the fuck? Yeah. Bro, I went to Catholic school oh, in yeah, high school. Right. Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. no but even, even in fucking public school, they would have, we, we would have fucking by your last name. So I was usually, Nah, we never had that. No? You, you had a big school, but like. You guys could sit wherever the fuck you want? Anywhere we wanted. Anywhere yeah. we wanted. Well, you I could, still would have went to the back of class anyway. And you could, yeah, me too. I hide all. I usually would there. get moved up to the front if you act like a cock. I used to try and, get, I used to try and get my first answer out of the way so early in class so I could coast the rest of the way. <laughs> like, what page did we read up to last night? I was like, ooh, 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 eleven. All right, nice, Danny. Yes, I'm good for the rest of the day. Yes, let me just let play me this just, Game Boy real yeah. quick. Game Boys, man. Can you imagine trying to go through school right now with a phone? Dude, I was falling asleep. I wasn't paying attention, but I, I didn't have anything to... I didn't have a phone or anything to do. Oh, yeah. That that would be the hardest thing. But the other thing, too, is like when we had phones, I remember you could charge a phone and it would stay charged for like four days. Yeah. What the fuck happened? Well, now it's... It, now it's fucking... We're Googling all types of weird shit. We were looking yeah. at whale penis the other day. Yeah, that's true. That will, Yeah. That takes some energy. Remember downloading a ringtone took like three and a half months? Yes. You could write like a fucking book by the time you downloaded that thing. And also just... It could just... You remember when you would download stuff and all of a sudden you'd click on it and you'd be like, oh my God, I can't wait to listen to La- uh, Shake That Laffy Taffy. And then you click on it and it was like, you should vote for president. And you're like, yo, <laughs> yeah. fuck, man. I got one of the... I got... They, winked. they got me. They got me. Yeah. I just like... Um, Yo, first of all, when you were talking about field trips, mm-hmm. what like what was your favorite field trip you've ever taken in uh, school? Oh, man. I had a couple. Uh, there, The reason I brought up the zoo, because I did go to the zoo once. I went to the zoo once with Frankie. We were in pre-K, petting zoo. <sighs> we pet magic. Yeah. I was on a pony. Yeah. And... uh. There was like a show, which looking back on it was kind of fucked up, of like a sheep getting sheared. It's very scary to see in person. It kind of looks like you're hurting them. Do they make a noise? Oh, they make a noise. Hey, oh. just, <laughs> they literally go. <laughs> Why do they? Their make tongue such comes weird... right out. It's like. Oh. Ah. I hope my fucking my neighbor can't hear me right now. But it, literally, that's what they sound like as they're getting shaped. And I'm like, hey, take it easy on that sheep, man. Remember when we fucking rubbed that sh- that sheep at... Uh, oh, it was disgusting. What zoo do we go to? Central Park Central Zoo? Central Park Zoo. That thing was like... Yeah. That thing hasn't been groomed in ages. That thing needs a bath. Had leaves from like three falls ago. Yeah. And hay? Like, hay everywhere. Poor guys. I feel bad for them. Like, I just remember... The zoo won so well because there was like a peacock, like a wild peacock walking around. Yeah. And yeah. they had electric fences. And I lifted it up and I got zapped at the zoo. That's Why'd like, you lift up the fence? Because I didn't know it was electric. I just thought like the peacock got out. So I was like, oh, let me help peacock get back with his peacock bros. And then I was I went to lift it. You got shocked? It went pop pop. It went. And I was like, 
and I remember like, oh shit. And like, like that scene in fucking Jurassic Park where he gets shot off the fence? Uh, not that bad. Well, but, yeah, no, they were trying to keep a T Rex in that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, how about that? In, in fucking Jurassic Park, they're like, oh, yo, we, we'll take care of this fucking T Rex electrical fence? Yeah. Dude, build a fucking. Keep that thing in there. Do you think if they cloned, or if they can, if possible, they cloned Jura- like Jurassic Park, would you go to it? You're asking me if I would go to a park that had a bunch of fucking dinosaurs? Yeah. Absolutely not. I think I would go. If they were all behind 10-inch gla- bulletproof glass, then yeah. Yeah, yeah. But and if then, they were just like out in the open... Like, you know the ones that, like, eat trees? Like, I'm not trusting this fucking thing to eat a tree. Yeah, that brontosaurus, too. Like, if it just walks by, it would probably knock you across the fucking street. I went to Disney, and they have, like, a an they animal di- kingdom. They had dinosaurs there? Yeah. They went to anim- I went to Animal Disney. No, no, I'm all fucked up. Sorry. I went to Animal Kingdom, and we went on a safari drive thing. Yo, the giraffes are, like, right there. And I'm like, yo, I know this giraffe doesn't eat people, but... And maybe we just caught him on a bad day, and he'll just bite my arm off. Yeah. They're huge. Have you ever seen giraffes fight? Yeah, they whip their fucking They're necks like, at each other. Rush! And they fucking slap each other with their necks. That's absurd. You can't tell me a giraffe's not a dinosaur. I'm sorry. Yeah. Look at it. It looks like a fucking, yeah. Why is it that big? What does a giraffe need to be that big for? To eat trees. Yeah, but dude, there's some tre- I could eat off that tree. Take a, little, take a little work, but I can eat off that tree. Yeah, it's because you get it. You'll get a ladder. Yeah, but I'm saying this: a giraffe doesn't need to be. How tall is a giraffe? You think? 18 feet tall? Oh, I'm bad tall. at. Ju- I'm I'm bad at this. I think taller. It, it could be taller, taller than 18, 18 feet. feet. Like I'm, I'm thinking of a basketball hoop. They're way taller than that. Yeah, that's 10 feet. Wait, Maybe. how high is the backboard? 12. Like 12. How tall is a are... full-grown male giraffe? I'm gonna guess. 20, 21 feet. 15 to 20 feet. A, all right, Or cool. northern giraffe. Yeah, see, all right. So I was in the ballpark on both. What fuck is a northern giraffe? What needs to be 21 feet tall, 20 feet tall? Giraffes. <laughs> and then the thing is I don't understand, too, about dinosaurs is that they could find, like, how can you tell something ate meat just from finding its bones? Yeah, I don't know. Those crazy scientists, they know tons of shit. It's just like, no, no, these ones ate meat. Oh, you see this piece of dung? Yeah. <laughs> It's like frozen. I love I love watching the fucking uh, Discovery Channel and they call poop dung. Yeah, I'm like just call it poop. Yeah, it's it's poopy. It's shit. It's shitty shit. Not dung. No, you know that. Uh, who's that other guy? Uh, Survivor Man. You ever watch that guy? Bear Grylls. Not Bear Grylls. Not Survivor Man. It's like uh. It is probably a Survivor Man. Man, uh, man versus wild or whatever is is Bear Grylls. No, Survivor Man is that crazy dude that's like from the country and like captures like raccoons in people's basements and stuff. What the fuck? Yeah, the guy's the man. He's like, yeah, we're going to go down here. We're going to catch uh, a couple of these uh, snapping turtles. And he just literally puts his hands out and lets it bite him. He's like, got one, got it. I was like, this guy is amazing. You ever see those videos of those like rednecks that like stick their arm into a, a po- like a river? And all of a sudden a giant fucking fish is like eating his hand. And he's yeah. like, see? And I'm like, see what? See I remember, what? I saw some video with the girl doing it. She was just catching fish with her hand. He was like, you got it, Charlene. Oh, man, that's a big one. <laughs> Charlene. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, it is. Yeah. Thanks oh, fucking Jesus, you. Jesus, Bobby May. Yeah, every time. God, no. Oh, you got, a, you got a grip on them, huh? I don't fuck with fish. Do you remember those guys that used to hunt crocodiles? What was that show? Like Steve Irwin? No, no, no. Not Crocodile Hunter. Rest in peace. But um, it was something about these guys would, like, go out and hunt crocodiles. To kill? To sell. To kill and sell. Yeah, and like one of them was like a Native American guy who was like an arm wrestling champion. That's a very, yeah, d- very weird combo. You gotta ch- you gotta check out that show. It was crazy. He was a Native American arm wrestling crocodile hunter. Yes. And who the fuck is this man? I don't know, but he's a badass. I and- would trade him for you in a heartbeat, <laughs> just based off his credentials. Yeah, and he has like a long ponytail. This is getting even better. And he wears like a tight. He wears like Under Armour, but like as a regular shirt. <laughs> like tight as fuck. Don't you hate when people do that? <laughs> Just wear shit. Like, why are you wearing gym clothes as regular clothes? I don't want to see you wearing a tight ass Under Armour shirt. <laughs> You're in the supermarket. Why are you wearing Under Armour? Yeah. And he has like one of those, like those, uh, uh like tribal around the arm tattoos. Oh, I was just going to ask if he had tattoos yeah. too. Yeah. Yes, he does. Wait, who is this? Crocodile Hunters? Uh, yeah. They used to, uh, they told me I did it down in the bayou. 
They ever they set up their traps and they go out there and they shoot all the crocodiles they can. <laughs> <laughs> the crocodile hunter. Oh no, that's super no no no. Fuck. Um, just uh, type in show where they hunt crocodiles, <laughs> and then you could see him. He used to he would always do it with his son. Him and his son would go out and they would like lay traps. Like they would just hang meat random places. Gotta love that. Yeah. What the fuck was I don't it? know, man. Me, I, I did see, see the show. See. All that pops up is Steve Irwin. Oh, all right. But um, all someone I, will know. I remember seeing a show. Yo, there's random shows that I don't know are real or fake. Like they have that one, like with the crocodiles. This is these guys that go around and like get crocs out of people's backyards in like fucking Florida. Yeah. Imagine that was a problem that you had to deal with. Like we don't deal with crocodiles here. No. Like there's like a mouse in your house or like a cockroach like one time. Yeah. Like, or oh my rat. fucking God, I got to call an exterminator and just exterminate, fumigate my house. And then down there, they're like, there is a man eating crocodile in our backyard. I know. Those are completely different things. Like I think the craziest animal I've ever had in my backyard was like a possum. Not really crazy. Fuck pop. Ugly things. Yeah. Anything that's ugly, I don't like it. Ferrets? Those are possums. Yeah. Uh, by the way, is it opossum or possum? Possum. But why is it opossum? Uh, there is no opossum. Yes, there is. No, it's not. How do you spell possum? P O S S U M. No. Opossum. You didn't know this? Opossum? You mean a possum? Opossum. I think. I think you're wrong. Opossum. Let me see it. Yeah, I'm telling you. you. I think you're making this up. Oh, possum, bitch. That's oh, ty- th- type in just possum and see if that comes up. Okay. Could it be like one of those things with like two names. Nope. I typed in I typed in possum and oh, possum came up. I never knew that. Silent O. Never heard of that. Me neither. And then some some I someone was like, I like spelled it out one day and someone was like, nah. And I was like, what? And they put an O. I was like, what the fuck? Were you yeah, honestly, I'll, I'll be as honest as possible. I've never seen it spelt like that. I think I was taught to t- spell it the other way. O possum. Isn't that weird? Oh. Why do we have silent letters? Yeah, silent letters are bullshit. It just doesn't make sense. Like xylophone? It's exylophone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. No, li- no one plays that. Yeah, I know. Also, accordions are mad weird. How do you spell that? Like X Y Z the phone, X Y L Z Y L A phone. Z yeah uh, right. Yeah. Or, or, oh, or it's X. this. Oh, it's that thing where you go bing ba dong bing. Or X is it an X or a Z? It's a Z, X. It's an X. Yeah. Anything that has an X in it is so hard to spell. I know. It's terrible. But I yo, said, I said Z Y L A, and I go, oh, it's a, it's a quiet, it's a silent letter. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Um, my dad hit a possum one time when he was driving and he got home and just like sat down at the table and we're all like yo what's going on with dad or whatever just walk over Mike what's going on <laughs> he's like I hear possum <laughs> and I was like all right he's like yeah I think he's dead I'm like, okay. Like, you made it seem like it was like a 13 year old child that, like, was, and not that I don't care about, you know, opossums, but. Opossums. Now, the funny thing, me and But, my, yo, he lost it. I feel bad. Yeah, he cried. Yo, he, he was crying, like, full cry. He said, I would rather hit a person. Wow. Yeah. That's like full sociopath. Oh, he's. Yo, full sociopathic behavior, by the well way. Well documented that I grew up with one of those in my house. <laughs> well documented. Yeah. Like, they say, like, sociopaths show, like, compassion for children and animals, but, like, not other people. Like, that like, like me. <laughs> <laughs> love animals. No. Love little children. Me and my brother, Mike, were driving to a party once, and we hit a raccoon. And there was three initial hits, the front of the car, no. under the car, and uh. the back of the car. So each one, me and Mike were like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then we drove around, and he was just so dead. He was on the floor. Yeah. And then we were like, ah, oh, do we move him? And, like, I got out to, like, try and move him. But I was like, no, it's icky. Because he's bleeding <laughs> everywhere. I was like, I don't want to kick this thing. No, you probably get rabies or yeah, something. Yeah, I feel weird just, I don't want to kick it to the side of the road. Yeah. And, then, and then I just, like, called, like, the, the town. And was Did like, you? Yeah, yeah. Wow, you're a good person. Yeah. I called See, the, I would have just left. I called the town. I was like, listen, I hit this raccoon. Uh, it's in the middle. I don't want to touch it, though. And they were like, all right. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that thing stayed there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were not happy about it. What, uh... But I did feel bad. I felt genuinely bad to well, kill yeah, something because it's probably a mom. 
I saw a bird get hit by a car the other day. I was so upset. Like oh. a little fucking little, little cheap boop boop. One of those. Little brown ones. Who could do really good bird noises? Keith. Oh my god, he did. Yes, it's he, fantastic. He guy. did. He does bird noises, and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? It's a real bird. Yeah, he's got a bird in his mouth. Yeah, it's it, he. It, I need him. I need him to like show me how he does that. Why? Because I would love to be able to do that, just like how you would love to be able to do this. <sighs> well, yeah, you can't do that. No. Yeah, no. I would love to be able to whistle like that. <laughs> no. I'm not even close. Can you whistle regularly? Yeah, so you're fine. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. What the fuck were we just talking about? Oh, birds getting hit by yeah, cars. Do you see that video of that bird and that lady was freeing it from a grill? What? So, so there was a bird stuck in a grill of a car. Oh. And she was freeing it. And she frees it. And as soon as it gets free, the car comes by and just hits it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing more sad than like an injured bird. Oh, yeah. When they're on the ground, they're like, I'm trying to, but I can't fly. And you're like, fuck, man. Could you kill that bird? No. See, I don't know how, like, people are able to do that. And I was going to ask you that about your fucking raccoon story. Like, if it was alive, what would you do? You get a get the bat out of the trunk. Yeah, I couldn't. Fucking I couldn't. bash its head in? No, I couldn't do it. No. I couldn't do it. I can't kill anything. I'll kill a bug. Oh, I'll crush bugs. Yeah, yeah. Like no, a I actually can't even do that because I get scared. Like, um, I hate when people say bugs are, like, good bugs to have in your house. I hate that shit so much. Oh, it's a centipede. Leave it. It eats other bugs. I was like, I don't want any bugs. Yeah, I'm going like, to kill all of them. I'm not trying to start a world war in my fucking living room. Yeah. Fuck this bug and that bug. <laughs> Get them both out. Yo, you got a spider and a centipede. I'm like, yeah, one of them will take care of the other one. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm like, listen, I'm not trying to build a fortress. Yeah, Jesus. This isn't, this isn't fucking Narnia. Yeah, this isn't I'm the not event. gearing up for a battle. This isn't the bug version of the Avengers here. Keep that spider. It's going to kill mosquitoes. Dude, just close the window. Yeah. And fuck this guy. Yeah. Suck him up with the vacuum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yo, That's hand it. me that handy vac. He's gone forever. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, don't do it, man. It's like, yo, when the fuck did you become like... I, I, it's like that too And then I hate when like um, Like I get recycling I get it I really do I promise But I hate when people tell you To always use like Nail jeans What? Like um, Nail jeans Like uh, reusable water holder things You no, know I've never I've never heard a of A nail this. jean It's like a, a clear one Like for like mountain climbers It has like the little like Hook on the top You've seen them. What is it? It's a thing that holds water. Okay. Why are we talking about this? Because I hate, because you were saying how you hate people with the bugs. How yeah, it's like yeah. all of a sudden. And then there's people that's like, oh, like you shouldn't use like a plastic water bottle. Oh, I mean, come on. What do I'm going to do? Keep filling up water? Yeah. I did my part. I watched a documentary about how there's a water crisis, but what am I going to do? I got to drink. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to go get a box. Listen, I recycle. I'll recycle it. Yeah. I'm doing half of it. Otherwise, I get fined. Yeah. I got to recycle. It's true. That kind of sucks. Which one? They, you ever go to... So do you recycle? Yes. I, I have to. Right. But like... Like my, my building like makes me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ever go to someone's house and they just don't? And you're like, what a fucking piece of shit this person is. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> because like we're forced to do it. And if I didn't have to, probably wouldn't. No. But I've just been conditioned to now do that. But whenever I go to someone's house, I suddenly feel like Captain Planet. I'm like... What is this? Another you thing. got a two liter of Coca Cola in here. Yeah, well, that's with, with not a, with to be next there. to a sandwich. What is, this is disgusting. Yeah, get it out of there. That honestly makes me feel dirty to see it in someone else's house. Yeah, and I don't trust anyone else's fucking fridge either. I don't know about you. I don't like other people's fridges. I don't either. I don't appreciate. I trust it. my mom's fridge. I don't trust anyone else's fridge because I'm, I check all the dates. I'm like, yo, why is this mustard from 1998? Yeah, get it the fuck out. Like, I ate a bar from Mika's fridge that was, like, four months old. I still ate it. Like a, it was yeah, like that's a, out of control. It was, like, a healthy bar, but I was, like, probably shouldn't have ate that. Yeah. Four months. Four months is not four days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't like drinking milk, because it's, like, dude, I can only have this for a week, and it's, like, oh, like expired milk is one of the most disgusting things ever. It curdles... Which is one of my least favorite words. And you could smell it. Like, milk always smells rotten to me. No, there's a clear difference. No, and you no, know what's no. fucking crazy? Milk sometimes just goes rotten, spoiled, whatever. 
before the expiration date. Yeah. Who got this science wrong? It fucking stinks today. Have you ever taken a shot and put it in cereal and just been like, oh. wait, what? Like taking a shot, like if it's the day of the expiration. Fuck no. Yo, no, fuck it. First right? of all, I need at least 24 hours. Uh, even if it's the day before, it's like, oh, tomorrow's the day. Not doing it. Yeah, no. And then there's also people out there that eat cereal with water. Excuse me? Yeah. There's water cereal people. That's disgusting. Well, this is their argument. Oh, you eat dry cereal. What's the big deal if there's water? There's water in your mouth. You have saliva in your mouth. You're just eating dry cereal. I'm like, no, it's it's a huge difference. It is different. Cereal was made for milk, not water. It's disgusting. Who the fuck is eating cereal with water, you assholes? I think like vegans. Don't tell me that. No. It, I think that was a, that was a hard guess. That was, I, I would <laughs> say it's a hard guess. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. But, I mean, it would make sense because, you know. I just don't think we should be drinking milk of uh, like. What about uh, almond milk? Yeah. I don't know how you get milk from an almond. I don't either. What is that process? I like? don't know. You just keep grinding it up until it becomes wet. Yeah, just like almond titties, like just just like a like a super almond that they milk. I don't I don't understand it. You gotta like jerk an almond off. Coconut milk I get because there's liquid inside of coconut. Yeah, but you, it's you, like you can make milk from that. But almond milk, I need to see the process. Are you squeezing it so hard that it becomes liquid? How's that possible? <laughs> I can almost guarantee that's not the way you do it. How to make almond milk? We're getting we're getting the the heads up here. Who is this? This is like a how to video. People from, make their own almond milk from Clean and Delicious. This is a woman's YouTube channel where she teaches us how to make almond milk because no one knows how this fucking thing. If this fucking advertisement doesn't go through, <laughs> it's kind of a smoke. Older smoke, but that's yeah, a, that's a mom smoke. Mom smoke, yeah. Mom smoke, yeah. It's like you're pleasantly surprised. You go to a new school, you meet a kid, and he's like, yo, you want to come over? You're like, all right, cool. You get to the house, and you go, wow, you guys have a lot of, whoa. Yeah. Your mom is hot. And it's also like you don't mind talking to her like while you're at your friend's like hangout session. She's always doing what? dishes. What's yeah. going on, Joey? Why are you guys always talking to my, why are you always talking to my mom? She's like, I don't know, just make, being she's nice. She's nice. Yeah. But she's hot. Can you play Stacy's mom on the way home? Fuck yeah. All right, no, hold on. How'd these almonds get wet? I fast forwarded too much. They I, just put water on them. Oh, yeah, yeah, they just put water on them. All and right, now she's draining them. More water. What the fuck is that thing? She's just pressing it. Is this dates? Hold up. Really Some salt, bro. What's a baby kiss? Of salt. Ex Tom Brady. I don't fucking know. That's true. <laughs> Okay, dates, yes. Oh, shit. Are you serious? And it becomes milk. From dates? Dates makes it a little sweet. Almonds are in there. And water. And water. Wow. You can put chocolate powder in there. Yeah, that's fire. You want to make some almond milk? Yeah, I'll try it. I bet you it doesn't taste anything like the one in the store. No. You ever taste almond milk? You're like, this is way too good to be almonds. Yeah. You're like, yo, this yeah. almond milk is fucking delicious. Almond milk I don't get really people good. who don't like it. It's way better than regular milk. It's better than soy milk. I'll fucking tell you that. Anything soy is disgusting. I don't yeah. even like soy sauce. Really? It's basically liquid salt to me. Yeah. I'm I like, like ah, ah. I like low sodium salt. Uh, I eat sushi, though. Like low sodium uh, soy sauce. And tell me more. Because uh, I, wish, I wish that you would try sushi once. I'll try it. I think you might like it. It's not about that. Yeah, it's about that. It's about that. It's about that for sure. <laughs> that is the whole basis of food. Do That's you the like whole this or do you not food. fucking like it? It's like for for me, whenever I see like people that are kind of like picky with their food, they're very interesting to me. Here we go. Because I want to know why you don't eat it. Right. And it's like, it's not like, I won't attack somebody like, yo, if you don't want to eat a steak, don't eat a fucking steak. Who's not eating steak? No, but some people don't. But I just want to know, like, why don't you want to eat that? Right. What's what's keeping you from eating that? I'll tell you this, right? So as a person who people would consider a picky eater, yeah, I just don't like raw food. Okay. However, it's because I ate fish when I was younger. And like, this is just something that I have to get over, obviously. It's one of those things. It's in your mind. It's in your mind. And it's just like, I, if I have a preference, uh, I, if I have an option, 
if I was dying and there was fish, I'd eat it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But the smell of fish, I don't like. So, but when I was younger, I ate seafood, and it didn't really agree with my stomach. And like I've ate eaten things like you know, galamad, good old galamad. Can't beat that. Galamari, um, and Fri- fried though. It's yeah, fried. fried calamari, whatever. Yeah. Um, but the only food that I look at and I go, there's no fucking way I would ever eat this. The only possible way is literally if Bear Grylls is looking at me in the face and he has both his hands on my cheeks and he's going, you're going to fucking die that's on the ship. That's what I was going to If ask. you don't eat this thing. And then I'd have to, and then try not to throw up oysters. Oh, you can't suck an oyster? Oh my God. Oysters are fucking disgusting. I'll, I'll suck oysters down. Those are boogers. A little horseradish, a little Tabasco. I don't even know what horseradish is. <laughs> I know it exists. I don't know what it is either. I know I- it's a condiment. No idea what it is. It's basically like mustard. I used to think there was horse in it. I used to because I was that. a stupid young person. No, I used to think that too. You're not as dumb as as you look. This isn't really helping me either. No, no, no. It's all right. We're both in the same category of asshole. No, that's fine. You know, that's fine. But yeah, I I just I can't I can't do oysters. It looks disgusting. Yeah. Baked clams is kind of the same thing. Anything that's really boogery, I can't I can't. What's going on? My fucking leg, man. Oh, from basketball. I thought you were taking a dump over there. No, no, no. I wouldn't do it here. I'd do it on the floor. <laughs> you ever shit on the ground? Yes. <laughs> I've shit on the ground. I'm not going to lie. Wait, what kind of ground? I was walking home from a keg one time. And uh, so it, we would have our kegs in the woods, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. So we would come through the woods, walk out. So we would walk through this field called Reynolds Field. Yeah, yeah. Where I grew up. And... I had to shit so bad. Of course. And, and there's usually an outhouse there that you could shit. Wait, where the fuck did you live that you had outhouses? Or like a porta potty? A porta potty. Ew, why'd you just call that an outhouse? I, that's what they're called, aren't they? No, they're porta potties. I hate when people say porta johns. <laughs> My dad says that. He's, that's, that's like a 1950s. <laughs> My thing. dad also says dungarees when Dun- he's talking about jeans. Dungarees. Where, where's my dungarees? <laughs> it's like, Dad, what the fuck is that? These same, are Levi's. Same ones for like 50 years. Oh, my God. Have like bleach stains on them. Yeah. The, the, you could see the <laughs> wallet imprint in the fucking head. There's no wallet in there, but you could see it. They always have like that little hole starting in the corner of like the back butt pocket, too. No belts. No belts. Big these guys. Big, yeah, well, I'll just hold it up. <laughs> I'll hold my pants. Why do you think I I got arms? I lost some weight. I'm like, no, you've just been wearing the same jeans every day for <laughs> they, 50 years. They're coming apart at the yeah. seams is what's happening. <laughs> I lost some weight. <laughs> So oh I could stretch God. them out. But no, so I was walking home and I was like, dude, I have to shit so fucking bad. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like just like from nervous of like having to be home at a certain time. Right. Drinking a whole bunch of beer, eating fucking snacks. And I was just like, yo, I don't ha- I have to shit, dude. Yeah. Poop's coming. Yeah. So I was like, yo, I'm going to do it right here. So I just walked under the basketball hoop and just took a big old shit. Wait, you shit on a court? Yes. I shit on a basketball You shit court. on hard ground? Yeah, dude. And there was woods around? No. The reason that I shit on the basketball is... Uh, you shit on a basketball? Not a basketball. Oh. On the basketball court is oh. because I could lean up against the pole and sit in a shitting position. Did you shit inbounds or out of bounds? I shit partially in, partially out. It was baseline. You shit on the baseline. Yeah, basically. Wow. Yeah. And then I remember like Why like, don't you put you just lean up against a tree like a Charmin bear? I did. No, I mean I could have, but like I didn't want to lean up against a bear uh, not a bear. But I didn't want to lean up against a tree because like I didn't know what like bugs or like stuff like that. I didn't like it. Oh, you were trying to be clean while shitting on the floor? No, I just, it, it was just like a split second decision. Don't judge me on that. No, I mean, listen, I got I had a shit. The shit. I had the shit. I got a shit story. I've told it before on the podcast, but ye- like a, two years ago, I think. Hearing shit hit the floor. One of the worst things. Disgusting. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. It's really not great. No. And I remember playing basketball there like a week later and nobody knew. And I was like, me and this basketball hoop have this. We know that we know something that people don't. <laughs> I shit right there. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Don't go there. Yo, go baseline. Yo, Danny, go baseline. But no, nah, I'm nah, good. Nah, I'm going to stand nah. out here. I'm going to stand on the three. I'm going to stand out here and shoot threes. No, nah, but you have, did you did I ever tell you the story? No. About how I shit on the floor? No. So, yeah, I've shit outside before. 
And like anyone who's like a true fan of this podcast will know the story. But anyway, I'm gonna tell you because yeah. you don't know it. There's a field over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's always fields. We're always shitting in fields. Well, fields. There's something about them that make get your stomach going. Everybody else shits there. Every other animal's taking dumps. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like when there's wide open land, my body's like, we we could just shit here. And yeah. I'm just like, we can't. We need a bathroom. <laughs> like if I lived out in like certain parts of like Pennsylvania, it'd be over for me. I'd have to shit 24 seven. I know. It's too open. Um, but anyway, <laughs> it's too open. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. I think we were like walking my friend to the bus stop and it was like, I think me, Frankie and whoever the fuck it was. I can't remember, but we walked to this bus stop and the bus stop is right behind this field. We used to play football at. Okay. And it's lined with trees, like bushes. Oh, great. Right. And then there's grass on one side and the bus stops on the other. So, you know, you know, you start getting cold sweats. So you got shit real fucking bad. Yeah. You know, and you start praying things. Like, just hoping for... Oh, shit turns anybody into a Christian. Yeah, I'm like, yo, please do say anything. Yeah. And then you, like, try to... You, like, put... <laughs> I don't know about you, but whenever I have to shit really bad, I start putting my thumb on my waistband. Yeah, And you're being not- like, oh, man, let me just... I, 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 I unbutton my... I'll unbutton my pants or untie, like, my drawstring and just be yeah. like, it just needs some more air in my, I'll just start in my ass. rubbing where that V... Like that goes straight to your cock is, yeah. even though I don't have one. But yeah, like where I, haven't, it should, I haven't had one since yeah. 2010, but yeah, where it should be. It's more of a U. Yeah, it's more. It's more of. A, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a U. It's just know? a U now. Yeah, but you do what you do what you can. Yeah, it kind of like you know how like a bra has like that hard thing on the bottom. Yeah, and, the, the and wire the, that... the, the tit like falls over it. That's kind of like what God, this looks like. Goddamn right. right. Yeah, I know. you know what I mean. <laughs> You're goddamn right. I know. But anyway, so I had to shit really bad. So I was like, oh, my God, I have to just shit now. Yeah. So I split the difference because. How so? Because on the where the bus stop is, mm-hmm. there's the street and then an airport. Ugh. You know, on the other side is grass and residential housing. I'm going to take grass and residential housing. Well, I split. So I went like in the bush, like in the middle of the bushes and it was dark. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. And. I shit now. After a poo poo, uh-huh. uh huh. You know, you gotta wipe. Yeah. I didn't really have anything to wipe with. I know what you used. What I used? Your I told un- you your underwear. No, I didn't. What did you use? See, see, hold on. It's gonna get really bad here. So I didn't. I didn't. <sighs> That's what I used. I used Why my. Why did I start telling this story? I used my underwear from that night. So, I was a young person yeah. and I didn't really know what I was doing back then. Uh, and um. So I shit, and uh, I was like, oh, my God, I need a wipe. And then I was like, what do I do here? And I kind of like just kind of looked around. I was hoping for like a leaf or something, but the only thing I could find was an umbrella. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You wiped your fucking asshole with an umbrella? I've never heard this story. I uh with an umbrella. That was had, it Was it one that was like turned out already? Like someone just left for dead? Oh, it was fucked up. Did you rip it apart? Like rip it off of like its hooks? Or did you literally just take the umbrella and just <laughs> rub your asshole with it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I rubbed my asshole with a ditched umbrella. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys know this, but umbrellas don't get ditched for no reason. So this thing must have been fucked up. Oh, yeah. And now, you know, whatever that was on that umbrella was... In your asshole. It was in my asshole, yeah. That's fire, dude. Yeah. At least you didn't get the fucking pointy part that stuck up there. Thankfully, it was like one of those clean, like, kind of poops. If it was... Uh, oh, a saucy one would have been bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a saucy one. I hate that there's variations of poop. I just wish poop was one way. Just be one way of poop. Why we got to have wet poop, hard poop, dry poop, green poop, black poop, red poop? It's like Dr. Seuss poop. <laughs> You know, Dr. Seuss poop. I'm just saying, it's like I understand. You know, it's just like give me just everyone just take the same shit. Peas is like two two peas. Yeah, yellow pea, clear pea. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have ten different peas. I, I, dude, I think I have something wrong with my butt every like three days because my poop is all different all the time. Yeah, it's definitely randomized. There's like, nothing consistent about my poop. Nothing consistent. I know if I have a good poop. The next poop is going to be wildly different. Yeah, that's true. You ever take a poop and you're just like, man, that was an, 
amazing poop. Like you feel like like everything that was bad that day is like is working now. Like you're good. You're good. What? Like if you weren't feeling well and you take a nice dump, you feel revitalized. Yeah. It's like taking a shower sometimes. Sort of. You know? You take a shower, you feel good. You're ready to go. Mm-hmm. Take a nice dump, you're great. There's nothing better than ha- Like you like you got it all out. Not yeah, like you cleared out that shit, and like now it's like, yo, my stomach feels like ten pounds lighter. Yes, I can kind of run a little faster now. Yeah, for sure. You know, you ever take one of those poops that just stretches you to capacity? <laughs> 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 God, he farted. Oh man, that squeaked out of me. Oh man. Oh, that's getting posted. Oh my god. No one's gonna let me live that down. So we are not cutting that out. We're not fixing that in post. I'll tell you. Yo. God, you farted. <laughs> I can't even remember what you said that made me laugh. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking larting all over the place. Yeah. No. Um. When you take one of those poops <laughs> that just stretches your butt to capacity. Yeah, yeah. Yo, and it's like a fight. Like it's usually one. <laughs> And then it comes out, but you have to take like four breaths to get this one out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like a football. It's like, yeah. It, start- <laughs> it is. It starts off like, all right, this is manageable. And it's like, yo, why does this thing keep getting wider? Oh. And then once you get past like the breaking point where you're like, if my asshole gets even a little bit bigger, I'm going to need to get some stitches. And then you get past that point and then it kind of just like slides out of you and gets like skinny. Like what made it so thick in the middle? And then when Why you see it, so it in the toilet, you're like, "That was it. That was the thing." You ever take a shit and you and you want to keep it one piece, and a part of you actively tries to keep it one piece, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "I'm not clenching these cheeks, no matter what. I'm going for the record." Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Cause this is what guy, this is what guys do. This is what we do. This is, this is. I didn't know anyone did that. I didn't know anyone did that. Dude, I've done that so many times in my life. <laughs> you're, we, you're pooping. You're like, oh, this is a rope, dude. <laughs> it's like you're fishing. You're like, oh, we got one. We got one. So like, I'm just, I just want this fucking piece of shit to come out in one piece, God. just so I can immediately look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, M- men. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to judge us all. Yeah. We are so quick to want to send friends pictures of our shit. I never really got into that. Sending poop pics. But Tr- trophy shits? <laughs> Yo, this conversation <laughs> is so fucking funny. To I me. Know. It just makes my day. My brother Jared shit a perfect J once. <laughs> I love how you talk about it like mythology. You're like one time I knew a guy. He <laughs> shit. Yeah, I took Keith used to take snakes, dude. <laughs> like I swear to God, this kid was pooping animals. Oh. In there. Like they were long. Was, at- it, was it one of those poops that like <laughs> you flush halfway it. down the drain and like half of it's still coming up? It's like and it's shit. out of the water. It's like a shit submarine. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. But yo, and then when you would flush it, it would just paint. The, looked like someone's trying to jam a jar of peanut butter in there. It's disgusting. Dude, you ever lift up your toilet seat too and you're like, oh, dude, I, I shit on this. And you're like, look at this. Dried piss and shit everywhere. Oh, man. It's disgusting. God, that's so scary. Funny. That's why that's why I got to get scary. That's why I got to get like one of those Your quip has a cover, right? What? Your quip has a cover? I put it it comes yeah, it, you can get yeah, it has a cover. Yeah, yeah. But I put it in a thing anyway because of that i saw a, a video of Appara- a, yeah right it, apparently there's like when you flush your when you flush your toilet there is an like because there was an infrared camera in a bathroom and then they flush the toilet and there's an absolute eruption of shit dust. of shit dust and piss spray molecules all over the place Another speaking thing. of quip <laughs> that is our <laughs> speaking of quip that is our Sponsor for today. It's so weird that you brought that up. Did you know that this was Quip? No. All right. <laughs> they got a little extra time in there, I guess. There you go, Quip. <laughs> um, Quip, for those of you who don't know, that is my electric toothbrush. Do you have Quip yet? No. Get a Quip. Um, I'm going to get it today after after. Get we, equipped. 
Get equipped. And what was the one that I said? I made a great fucking slogan. I don't know, but we can't talk about other things. No, 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 no. <laughs> For Quip. No, I, I don't know. Fuck. Um, but no, Quip is an electric toothbrush. It's amazing. I love it. If you see on my Instagram story sometimes in the morning when I brush my teeth, I act like an asshole. You can see that I clearly use this goddamn Quip. Mm -hmm. um, but the Quip is amazing. It has a built-in two-minute timer that pulses every 30 seconds to remind you when to switch sides, which, which is nice because I never know how long I've been quipping. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, brush heads this is the best part. Brush heads are automatically delivered on a dentist recommended schedule, which is every three months for just $5. So that's amazing as well. Um, but yeah, three out of four of us use bristles that are old, worn out and ineffective. Would you say that you, you you're one of those three? Mm, yeah. I would say I'm about two out of three. We'll get into this after I, talk about quip a little bit but there's something about toothbrushes i want to bring up but yeah. anyway um if you want to try out quip uh you know you, the quip they just start at 25 dollars. if you go to get quip.com slash basement uh you get your first refill pack free with a quip electric toothbrush so that is get quip.com slash basement g-e-t-q-u-i-p.com slash basement fuck with the quip all right quip it good that's quip. what it was oh yes quip it real good Yo. From what Quip said, mm -hmm. three out of four people use fucked up toothbrushes, yeah. basically. Yeah. I wish you could have seen my father's toothbrush. I don't know how strong this man truly is, <laughs> but if you saw his toothbrush, you'd be like, this guy needs to take it easy on his mouth. Really? It was so fucked up. It looked like Don King's hair. Like, bristles were just going everywhere. Dude, it literally was like, which sea did Moses part? <laughs> the Red Sea. The Red Sea, yes, of course it is. Jesus Christ. What, oh, so, what am I, a priest? No, no pun intended. <laughs> what? Uh, no, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus, um, Joe. What it, are we doing? It literally we like, got to bring you to fucking church. Yeah, let's make a vlog of us going to church. That'd be sick. That was Halo Was it? I think so I don't think so Yeah like right before the flood comes in the first game Anyway <laughs> The br the bristles How they're supposed to be standing straight up They One side would go this way And the other side would go that way And there would just be a line <laughs> down the middle of plastic Like where the toothbrush head is He had a hair He just like his, It looked like Sean's hair from Boy Meets World it, That's exactly <laughs> what it would look like Okay Yo, and, and he would use just whatever one. Oh, it's disgusting. And he's like, what's the difference? It's what you, you blah, 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 I'm your father. I'm your blood. I'm and my I dad. Just, you I, have gingivitis. <laughs> I don't want it. One time his whole tooth came out. The whole thing. Not like, oh, my tooth came out. I'm a child. Here's some money. With the, like a cartoon where people draw teeth with the roots. With the, with the hooks. Just out of his, just fell out. Of his face. A whole tooth. What did he do? He just did nothing. He just had a tooth. That's fucking wild, That's my dude. dad, dude. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. If my whole tooth ever came out of my face. Oh, I would, I would, I would be so scared. The, the wheels would be turning. I'd be making up different kinds of disorders and diseases that I had. Yeah. This guy was just like, oh, oh. And then his life went on. You have that, you have that dream where your teeth fall out, right? Yeah, and I also have a, a dream where I go like this, and my teeth pop and break. Yeah, I've had that one too, where I s s like squeeze them to death. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. What What would you say is like your biggest reoccurring dream that you have? Probably that one, the teeth thing. Yeah. And I hate how everyone wants to interpret these dreams. Oh, it means you're losing power. You're, what the fuck's that mean? You're about to die. <laughs> you're thinking about death. Yeah, if someone dies in your dream, they're gonna. D oh no, that's another thing. I said I had a dream of something. And someone's like, that means someone close to you is going to die. It's like, what? Even if I knew that was true, I wouldn't say that to somebody. Why would you? Like, oh, yeah. Someone really that you love is going to die soon. Oh, I can interpret this. It means you're going to die. Like, that's like being like someone telling you like, oh, my mom has has this disease. It's like, oh, she's not going to make it. <laughs> thanks, man. Because of your dream. <laughs> yeah, thanks. You okay. dreamt it. You dreamt it into reality. Fucking idiots. What about like palm reading? Do you believe in that stuff? Oh, like, oh, this is your age line. Yeah. Yo, we should go get our palms read, dude. Do people do that? As yeah. A, as yeah. A, as an occupation? Yes. They do palm reading? Yes. I walked by one the, uh, yesterday. 
Do you remember the trick you would do to everyone with the palm reading? No. Remember, girls used to do it because they're like, you guys had way more. You had way more hand stuff when I was a kid. I I think so. Yeah. But we would. All right, do it. Just do it to me. I'm not gonna do it to you because it's, it's disrespectful. It's disgusting. So here, I'll explain. All right, just do it. So they'll look at your palm and be like, "Ooh, okay." Mm, you have a good you're, you're gonna live a long life oh that's good and you're gonna have a dog okay and i'm like how are you feeling my hand and know if i'm gonna buy a pet yeah and then they go you're gonna have a big yard oh and then they'd go you're gonna have a pool and they'd spit in your hand girls would do that yep that's fucking hot it wasn't hot back then if a girl spit in my hand it'd be like ew <laughs> you'd be like ew ew we just hooked up <laughs> we just hooked up <laughs> Technically, we just hooked up. Ew, what are you doing? Funny thing about my pool is that I can drink it. Ew. Ew. Did you ever have, like, kisses? A terrible kisser? Yeah. My girlfriend in eighth grade. <laughs> terrible. What was it like? Just very fast. It was like... <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 whoa! I couldn't keep up! My mouth, didn't, my jaw didn't move that fast, but she was getting after it. I kissed a girl once who her, her mouth just wouldn't do anything. It was like this. I was kissing her teeth. Fire. No. <laughs> ice. I was like, this is weird. Ice? Like, it was No, because you said fire. I said ice. Oh. It's like the opposite I of fire. I thought you meant her teeth were cold. I was <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yo, you got some cold ass teeth. Yo, why are your teeth so cold? But I was like, yo, I was like, I want, uh, like a part of me just wanted to be like, open your, open your open mouth. Open your fucking mouth. Yeah, but then I was just like, uh, okay. Yeah, no one knows how to kiss, though. No. Especially back then. No, nah, like, I think I'm mad good at kissing, though, to be honest. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh... Do you trust yourself kissing? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Like, yo, yeah, listen. <gasps> oh, I'm getting a package. <sighs> we'll take a break from this room. Yeah, yeah. I kissed a girl one time, and... <laughs> she just said, what was that? Whoa. Yeah, I didn't know if she meant like the move or if she meant like the act, mm. if that makes sense. Like, that would have messed me up. Yeah, I was very confused for a very long time because I never got like a definitive answer on what it was. Yeah. It was kind of just like, <laughs> I didn't know if she meant like, did you just work Ew, through what it? What was that? Or, yeah, I just kind of I just kind of plowed through. I mean, I didn't continue. Oh, I thought you were like, I, I know, right? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, our lives just went onward from there. Yeah. But I didn't know if she meant like, why did you kiss me? Or like, why the, f- what the fuck was that? Yeah. You know, like, you don't know how to, ki- like, I didn't know. Yeah. But that was one of the main things when you were like growing up. I feel like it was like you were afraid of kissing because you're like, oh man, I'd be so bad at it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely were. Imagine being a girl and being like, yo. Talk about kissing. Want one of these bad boys? <laughs> fuck yeah. I haven't had one of these since like eighth grade. I just recently got back into them. The Listerine strips? They're fantastic. Huh? Well, this one's burning. The best is when you get it perfectly on your tongue. Uh, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I feel like I'm dropping acid. Yeah. Is this how you drop acid? Yep. Nice. Oh, my God. Why is Listerine so fucking hot? I don't know. We just have bad mouth. What? A lot of bacteria in our mouth. That's what that means? Mm Mm-hmm. Are you making that up? No, I'm not. So it burns more when there's bacteria? Yes, because it's killing the germs. I thought that was a myth. No. Kind of like your brother's (laughs) J-poop. No, no. I'll tell you. We'll get him on the horn. We'll We'll get him on the horn. Call him confirm that poop? Yeah, confirm that poop. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. You asked Thomas about Keith's snakes. That kid was dropping bombs back then. I thought Keith actually had a snake. No, he had lizards, though. Yeah. Keith looks like a lizard guy. Yeah, there's a picture of him having, like, two lizards here, mm-hmm. and then lizards up his arm. He had mad lizards, bro. Why are they all now? Uh, they are deceased. Uh, <laughs> what was their names? Do you remember any of them? Uh, no. Were any of them cool? They were lizards. Yeah, lizards can't really be cool, can they? I hate when people have, like, lizards or, like, birds, and, like, that's, like, their animal. Like, they love them. <laughs> I hate when people have pets it's like, and love their pet. Uh, 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 no, but what I'm saying is the lizard isn't a primary pet. It's a secondary pet. A lizard? Yes. It depends how old you are. A fish, a secondary pet. A fish is literally a decoration in yeah, my Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a, a plant. Bird, it's a, a plant. Yeah. A bird, secondary pet. 
It's not going to satisfy my pet needs. I need a dog. Yeah, I want to pet some yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't want a fish. Can't. That's why it's called a pet, so you can pet that bitch. Yes. What am, I, what am I looking like, petting a lizard? Yeah. You know, I've never even thought about that. What, why the word pet? Pets. Yeah, you got to pet them. So you can pet them. Yeah. Also, another thing. Are you a chapstick guy or are you a tin guy? No, like I, I like chapstick. You like chapstick. Yeah. I like these, though. We're both cocoa butter users. Well, it's because it's because I like the I don't like to touch. You don't like to do that. I don't like to touch my lips. Mm. I hear you. Because I get like my I I mean not this year because I've been chapsticking hard. Yeah. Uh, you get split lip. My lip splits and it starts to look like all right. Well, maybe this guy. Uh... Did you remember when you were a kid how bad your lips would get chapped? Like disgusting. Like it looked like you wore lipstick. It was it might, so bad. Mine honestly didn't even get that bad. Dude, I used to have horrible, horrible, horrible chapstick. My uh, mom was on lips. top of our lips. <laughs> Fuck. Why did I say that? <laughs> she was though. She was on top of our lips. Give me your lips. Get over here. And she put that. You know the blue one, yeah. Blistex. Yeah. Shit burned like a bitch. I use it all the time. Yeah, it's it's good. And when it hurts, I'm like, this stuff's working. <laughs> You know what they say? You should use it before you go to sleep. I do. You should apply chapstick before you go to sleep. I do Because that. a lot of times... You that's breathe where the, with your mouth open. You breathe with your mouth open and it dries out your mouth. Yeah. So. Remember those kids in school that their lips were so fucking chapped that their whole mouth was chapped? Yeah, and they would they sit They had like a cl- red ring. And they like, would, yo, did you drink some Kool-Aid? What the fuck's going on in your face? <laughs> I was one of those kids, but... You had a red ring? No, I had it like literally like it, I looked like... Like like a Puerto Rican woman, <laughs> like you know what? Like they would do the lip liner. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It was like dark on the outside and light yeah. on the yeah. Yeah, I looked like I worked at a place called Daiquiri's and I was coming to the stage. Right, that's what it looked like. But I, I hated those kids that always had dry lips and they would always be in class like this. Oh my god, picking your lip! I'm like, dude, if you don't stop picking your dead fucking lips, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You ever look back at some of the, like jokes you you've said to people or like said whatever like when you were like really young like third grade and be like that's really mean. <laughs> yes. Yes. You want to hear the meanest joke I ever told somebody? I cannot wait to hear this. This one I don't even know if I could say it. It hurts my stomach now just to say it. Nice. This is so fucked up. Oh no. I don't think I want to say it. Oh, now I need to know. <sighs> All right, you t- you tell one first, and then maybe I'll think about it. I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> I don't. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but All I just right. know. Whatever, yo. I was in third grade. I was in like four, no fourth grade. I remember. And kids just, are mean though, and yeah. you have no idea why. But no. then that's why you become the person you you know. No, but this I'm kid trying to help you. This kid kind of bullied me. Yeah. Um, and by kind of bullied me, he bullied me. I beat the shit out of him one day because of it. Um. But he didn't have a dad. <laughs> Fuck man. <laughs> I mean, that's all you got to say. I know what you said. Yeah, so like, oh my God. So we were playing flag football and I dropped a ball. And I was one of the younger kids playing. I think he was in sixth grade. And they were like, oh my God, like this kid sucks. Like, I don't want him on my fucking team. Like, he stinks. Like, he sucks. And the only thing that came to my head was like, yeah, at least I have a dad. (laughs) Yo, it's so fucked up. It's so it's Man. so fucked up, and his dad died, dude. It's not like his dad like left. His dad was dead as fuck. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And the thing was, is like his dad like died the summer before. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I know, man. I know. I'm not even laughing telling this story. I feel so fucking bad now. <laughs> but this kid was this kid was a monster to me. Yeah. He would bother me every day, dude. He would when push you were younger, me every day. He would fucking try to knock my fucking... Oh, you know what he used to do? Remember those milk cartons that were impossible to open? Yeah. He used to put his... Like, whenever I would get it open, he'd put his finger in it. What the fuck? And go like this. I was like, yo, dude, like, why are you doing this? I don't want to say his name because I don't want people to, like, look after him. But he had, like, the bulliest name. Man. Um, I don't want to know it. Yeah. I'll I'll say say his name later, but, like... I'll tell you off. Yeah. But I remember when that happened... Everyone looked at me like, yo, I cannot believe you just said that. I was like, yo, he's going to kick my fucking ass. Yeah. He was two years older than me. Right. He was in my brother's grade. I was like, yo, he's going to kick my fucking ass. Yo, he just started crying. Oh. Tears. And then a part of me felt good for a second. 
And then when I got, in, I went to the office. Yeah. And then I was like, yo, this kid's dad's like dead, dude. Yeah. And like my principal had to like basically explain to me like why, why, you this, don't... Why, why this is so fucked up. Yeah. Like, yeah, man. Fuck, dude. You know. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that. No, no. <laughs> no, but it's good though. Because here's the thing. Dude, right? I still, I'm, this is. 25 years later, oh my, I, I feel terrible, man. No, I if know. I saw him today, I would apologize to him. I know the type of person you are. You would probably empty your bank account for this. Oh thing. my God. I feel so fucking bad but now that I think about it. I oh, th I did another one too. I did another one too. Oh my God. All right. So this was older. This was like 15, 16. It's me, my cousin, John, um, and a couple people were, uh, were in my friend's basement. We we're just like rapping and shit. And um, my dad was a sports writer, and this kid was uh, was like a uh, he wanted to be be a sports writer as well, and he was like rapping and shit. Like he's like, yeah, like your dad like whack at like writing the writing in the paper and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like we were just like rap battling. I had no idea this happened, by the way. So this wasn't like something I knew. The, the other kid I knew his dad was right dead. God rest his soul. But this one, I was just like, yeah, I was like said something about like. Like, a, like I, I dropped bombs, like the one I drop on your mom's. And his mom died, like, a week ago. And my cousin John looks at me and he goes, dude. And I thought he was looking at me like, yo, that was fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And then, and, then he, and then he was like, yo, what's wrong with you? And I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, yo, you fucking serious? And then the kid that happened to, he's like, yo, it's all good. He's like, nah, like not a lot of people know yet. Like, I, I didn't know yet. This was like four or five days ago, apparently, that it happened. Everyone's had those type of things, though. Like, uh, you say something and you just dude, don't makes, know. It makes my stomach hurt now just thinking about those things that I <laughs> said. I feel so bad. Davino still brings us up. This is not nearly as bad because oh, I didn't say that fuck, shit. Man. But um, we were driving by on some block and I'm in the car with Davino. And he goes, oh, my grandma used to live over here. I was like, oh, where does she live now? And he goes, heaven. <laughs> he got mad at me because I was, I died. I was, this was like two months ago. Oh, so you started just cracking up. I was dying. Dude. Some shit's just funny. I, that was hilarious. I don't fucking know. Yeah. And he's like, heaven. And then I, <laughs> I was laughing because I was like, I'm like, sorry, dude. I didn't fucking know. But. Yeah, dude. I was, I was a fucking mean kid. No. Nah, because I, I was small though. And like, I had to stick up for myself somehow. And I've always been really good with words, like, on like, your feet. like cerebral, like quick witted, Assassin. like I'll fuck you up, like if if you're trying to sun me, like, so like that was kind of my thing. Nobody really fucked with me because of that, because I could just fucking sun you. Yeah. And this one, I didn't mean to sun him, but I got so mad because he just kept saying I was so bad at football, and I was like, the only way that I can get back at him is talk about his dad. And that's so fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I think when you're a kid, though, like, those are the type of things that you do. Like, I'm sure I've said fucked up things to, to kids before. And, like, I just didn't even, like, realize. Like, there was this one kid in our neighborhood that we were friends with. But we just, for whatever reason. Just he, fucked with him. Just fucked with him. Yeah. yeah like, all the time. And, like, he, we're so, he'll, like, there wasn't any, like, damage that we did. But there was things, like, we used to just. That you know of. Huh? That you that you know of? No, no, I know. You mean like physical damage? Well, like he moved away eventually, and then when he came back after like six years, he just walked into my house. Like, All right, so that's that's cool. Yeah, like, I mean it wasn't. I was like, dude, can you fucking knock? Like, the oh, fuck? oh, I thought you meant like he, like it was all good. Like, yeah, yo, no, just come in, man. No, it was, but like he didn't even knock. He just walked in. I was like, oh shit, like what are you doing here? Maybe he was a little loosey goosey. No, he wasn't. He's fine. He's like a totally normal kid, and like it was we were just young idiots, you right. know. But he always, like, he was never, it was never like, yo, I'm sad. And you're like, I don't give a fuck if you're sad. I'm still going to make fun of you type of thing. He was just like an easy target. Yeah. And it's just like, when you're a kid, sometimes you do stuff like that. And you look back and you're like, yeah, why the fuck was I doing that? Yeah. And like, like it was so weird for me, like, growing up. Because, like, part of my life, like, first, second, third, fourth grade, I was bullied. Mm -hmm. Like, constantly. Constantly. And then, um, up until like fifth or sixth grade, like I beat, I beat up my bully. And then after I beat him up, 
a part of me was like still like a little more like still like afraid to get bullied but like i just had enough shit like yeah. for years in the same school like these fucking people just kept fucking with me and i was like yo like i'm gonna beat the shit out of this kid so one day after school i just beat the fucking shit out of him and then i remember just being like i'm never gonna let myself get bullied or like someone get bullied around me right. that's why like i stick up for my friends more than i'll stick up for myself i'm the same way you know so then when i moved to new york i was like yo i'm coming in here hard <laughs> Like, I don't like anybody. Like, I, like I'm going to come in here and just be like, I'm not to be fucked with. Because every other school that I went to, people fucked with me. And then I became really cool all of a sudden. And then, like, you know, like, I had to stand up for myself. Because I was right. always kind of on the smaller side. And people thought that they could fuck with me. And then I remember I, when I moved to New York, I was like, yo, I'm not going to let people fuck with me anymore. And it's weird. But, like, a part of me, if I never did that, I wouldn't be where I am today. Did what? Like, st stood up for myself. Yeah, of course. I think that even back then, that early in my life, it was that pinnacle. It was that uh, uh, pivotal, sorry, in my life, in my actual self-growth. Self I had to beat the shit out of that kid. Yeah. Like, because I would have never had the confidence to be like, no one's going to fuck with me. Well, that, that's what I was going to say. Unless you're like a beast, then you're going to fuck with me. Well, that's the, that's what I was saying. I was trying to say earlier when you were talking about like that fucked up thing you said to that kid. It's like everyone learns in those situations. Like those kids learn like, all right, I can't just fuck with people because I'm going to get punched in the face. Yeah. You say that to that kid, even though you're not a bad person and you say that and you see the impact that it has on people and you go, well, I'm never going to fucking do that again. Yeah. And then like. You know, it, it, everyone kind of learns from that situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like that's that's why I brought it up because, you know, especially in this day and age, like, it seems that anyone that gets super popping, like, people go back and they find something like, oh, when you were 16 years old, you said this thing. Right. And it's like some of those – some of them are like, I get it because it looks – it's just like a pattern of behavior and it's right. like, yo, you look like an asshole right now. Yeah. But, but some things are just isolated and they're lessons, you know? And yeah. when you're younger, that's why I said – Everyone has said fucked up shit to another kid that you should have never said. And it, you feel like, oh, man, I, mo I might have bullied that kid. Or it might have been too mean. Yeah. Even if it was to someone who was bullying you, it might have been like, I might have went too far. But those are just, like, lessons you learn along but the way. It, and it was also, the like, because, like, I was getting bullied. And, in, like, a part of me, like, it made me a mean person. Like, as a kid. Like, it made me, Your like. Your guard was super high. Yeah. So, like, I was kind of a dick. Like, to people that were, like, my age or younger than me because I was just like, yo, like, the shit that I, like, these kids were fucking, like, try to put me, like, lock me in a closet and shit. And then my older brother, then Mike found out and, like, like started, like, fucking people up. But, like, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, like, they did that shit to me, like, as a kid. And, like, if you don't stand up for yourself at some point, you're going to live the rest of your life like that. Right. I, I'm a firm believer in that. I could be wrong. But I'm just a firm believer at some point you have to make a stance. But the stance that I made was kind of fucked up against that other kid. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't great. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. But I learned from I've never said anything like that to another person except for that time accidentally in a rap battle when I didn't know that that person's mom passed away. Yeah. But still makes my fucking stomach turn over. Yeah. It's kind of fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I never had to deal with bullying. I don't think I, I, I was ever bullied or anything like that. I just... I just didn't. It just didn't happen to yeah. me. And uh, I, but I have, like, I don't let that shit happen. Like, like whenever I watch high school movies where it's like, oh, the bully and like kids sitting by themselves and like whatever. Like, I was on the football team in high school and like I wasn't like a super popular kid. Like we were, I was friends with the football team and like right. whatever. Technically, you, that would make you quote unquote popular or whatever. But there yeah. wasn't really ranks like that. No, but you're in a, you're in a particular population, Group. right? That that's like. But all right, all right, they're all right. Even then, like you would think those kids, the the football team, yeah, would be like the dicks, yeah. which we were, but not like fucking crazy. If there was a kid eating lunch by himself, we like little, multiple times come Brought sit with us. In. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's like that. Being actually mean is so fucking like yeah, mean. <laughs> no, yeah, it's hard. It's hard, but like that shit that I went through at a younger age made me kind of a dick when I was in my teens. Because I was just so used to being on the other side of it. It kind of forced me to, like you, like you said, have my guard up. But, like, I remember, like, when I was when I was a senior and the freshman, we had to ha our team was too small. We had to have the freshman play varsity. 
every other time like the varsity team was dicks to the younger kids i was like we're not doing that anymore right we're not going to be dickheads to these kids so like we hung out like with the freshmen like we took care of them we took them under our wings and shit we showed them certain stuff alcohol and like you know like let them have fun and like br- let them come to parties that we were having and shit like that because i didn't we, we, we didn't haze like we they used to do like hazing type of shit nothing bad but like you know they would be dicks mm-hmm. or like now let them go to parties like we let them rock right because i knew what i went through and i was like i'm not doing that to a fucking kid i never got like the whole hazing thing no like when you hear stories about like fraternities or like whatever and like oh the the captain of the football team held down this kid and put a broom in his ass it's like dude what the fuck goes on in your locker room let's put our dick in their mouths because they're gay yeah (laughs) you know what i mean i'm like no it doesn't work like that let's make them show us their penises yeah yeah what put the basket sauce on your cock like why are we doing this i don't i don't understand any of that and i would never want to join anything like that that no i have to punish myself to do that like even on a d- different scale like even like street gangs who came up with the logic that hey to get in we're all going to beat, beat the, the shit, shit out of you <laughs> eight of us no thanks yeah i'll go read it. i'll go read somewhere yeah. it's scary i don't but really like, fuck with that no that shit is fucking scary bro you ever see like they did a vice on it what jumping into games? yeah the guy's like yeah like today's the day like i'll just go get jumped into the crips i was like what the fuck <laughs> we're filming this shit now yeah dude when we were younger we used to do a fake initiation with our friends and and uh the initiation was we had to 3d through a bush that's fun though so for people who don't know the deli boys yeah 3d great one of the greatest tag teams in wrestling history but they <laughs> used a lot of tables the only person that got it bad was Josh Because Josh was tiny When did, we were younger Did he get like Like hurt by the bush So here's the thing right He didn't get seriously hurt But he got hurt Like he yeah. got hurt We went to go 3D him through a, Or whatever And like we're all like Laughing and shit And he's not like Oh my god stop Like we're just fucking with him Picked him up And then whoever Threw the bush In the middle of the bush There was a fence Oh fuck That we didn't know about Oh man <laughs> This guy hit the bu- Hit the fence he was all right, though. You ever fell off a fence? Fuck yeah. Dude, I remember one time I fell off a fence right onto the back, uh, like back and whiplashed and fucked my whole head up. I fucking bleeding down the back of my head and shit. I walked into a party, and I, and I just went home. I was like, yo, I, I fucking feel like shit. I fell off a fucking fence. Probably concussed. Yeah, probably. But I was just like, yo, man. Falling? <laughs> this is going a little bit. I'm so scared to fall off stuff. Like heights, yeah. I'm terrified of heights. Okay. Like, and I never liked climbing fences as a kid. I never liked climbing trees as a kid. I never liked ladders. I didn't like any of that shit. Is that candy? You just whipped candy out. <sighs> yeah, I did. But someone played a prank on me. Oh, uh, what's in there? Oh, what a douche! I'll eat it. Fucking Vin and Keith. They went and got balls. Now I got to grab a different one. That's fine. But yeah, for some reason, every time I would like, I didn't want to do any of that. Like a diving board. Yo, I didn't go off a diving board until like, I was like, Oh, diving th- boards are high. Th- 13. Anyone who could dive off a diving board, like a high, like a high dive. Yeah. Not like a regular pool one. Cause I could dive off of those, but like, yeah. I still, I mean, even then I can't dive re- like too well off of that. But like people who did like high dives. Yeah. Like, what are you nuts? Like those fucking McTwisty things and make yeah. like a little splash. Look at them. Yeah. It's like, yo, how the fuck did you do that? Yeah, those things are fucking amazing. Those those people are... That's insane. Yeah. Contort your body. Yeah, crush that. Is that the one with the milk in it, mm-hmm. basically? No chocolate? Damn, I miss chocolate so much. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Jesus, take it easy. What? Chocolate. I'm infected with it in here. Yeah. Oh, speaking of chocolate, um, the Chocolate Factory, R. Kelly's album. Um... Are we still allowed to listen to R. Kelly? <laughs> you probably. That album was a great album, man. Chocolate Factory? Chocolate Factory had like a step, step on it, Ignition. Everybody do the love slide, step in the name of love. God. you The fucked up thing about this whole R. Kelly thing is that we had video of this guy peeing on somebody mm-hmm. 12 years ago. Yeah. It takes one lifetime special to get the guy arrested. What's going on? I watched 
I just finished that documentary not too long ago. It's fucked. It's insane. It's really, it's really like, what the hell? But I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, like where, 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 where I guess because like Michael Jackson went through his shit. Michael Jackson's got one coming out too. Oh yeah, I heard they fucking roast his ass too. Well, because I mean, yo, things he look, did, he did that shit. Come on. I'm sorry. I know there's like gonna be people in the comments saying like you don't know that he was acquitted. He did that shit, bro. There's just too many things that lead up to. Yeah, there's man. too many like weird things yeah. that like you know what I'm saying. With yeah. R. Kelly, it's different. It's like, bro, I saw you piss on somebody. Yeah, and then you're like at concerts, like telling girls to like wipe your tongue and shit. I'm like, you ever Wait, see what? that? He's like, wipe my tongue. He's like, wipe my balls. You never saw that one when he's doing that like on stage. No. He's like, wipe my head. I'll show it to you after this. It's so weird. What, he's like making her wipe his head? Yeah, yeah, with like a cloth. And then he's like, wipe my tongue. And she wipes his tongue. I was like, this guy does weird shit. Yeah. Yeah. He pees on people. He pees on people. It's it's really crazy how, like, you know, in, in that documentary, the peeing thing, I thought was the only thing. And it's really the tip of the iceberg. No, he, like, ties in the, like, refrigerator. He doesn't. He's shit. like, yo, you, he starves them. Yeah. Allegedly, I guess. Allegedly, yeah. I guess in, innocent until proven guilty, but it's just like but too many, too many fucking things. Yeah, too I many. Mean, that's why, like, I feel like with these like celebrities that get in these certain situations, like even like with like Bill Cosby, it's like, yo, like, are eighty five people really gonna do this right now? Eighty five, like you, not four. Yeah, eighty five. You know, there's mad people. Some people yo. don't even have sex with eighty five. Uh, Forty five. That's what I'm saying. It's like, listen. I'm sure some of them lied. I'm sure some of them lied, but not everybody's lying. 85? Yeah. Come even, on. That's even a case a, study. Even if 80 of them lie. Five. <laughs> That's a little too many. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, One's too many. It's a lot. It's a lot. I would be comfortable with 84 of them lying. Yeah. If one of them's like, dude, this guy fucking drugged me. I know. I know. Like, Get this guy the fuck out of here. If, that's the scary part, though. It's like... There's still people like I saw R. Kelly getting arrested. Like I love you. I. It's very scary to see that because if if you know all the information about R. Kelly, it just if it's listen, I'll say this. And it hurts me because he was one of my biggest like musical inspirations ever. Here's another thing I'll say before I get to my point. I think detaching the two is okay. You could detach music from if a guy's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you could still be like, yo, like, I get not wanting to support someone and being like, I'm not going to support someone, someone to put money in their pocket. Like, I get that. Yeah. But I also don't have a problem with someone being like, listen, I just really enjoy this music. Yeah. You know, like, I won't go to his concert or whatever. Yeah. But Ignition's going to be on. Yeah. Like, if I hear Ignition, I'm like... I'm not going to act like it's not. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close my ear. You know, it's like the dude's obviously talented and the dude can sing his That's ass a, off. Yeah. He's a fucking maniac. Though. Yeah, he's you know nuts. What I'm he's nuts. Same and thing like, with Michael Jackson. And yeah, and with Michael Jackson, same thing. It's like, I get it. But like the problem is when people can't detach. I yeah. think that's when the problems start because not only... Um, do you become this person that I'm not really a fan of that, that are just like, oh, you're listening to a Michael Jackson song? Like, what do you support pedophilia? And it's like, dude, I don't know how you got there. Like, yeah. I just think Man in the Mirror is a fucking classic. And like, yeah. I love it. Like, just beat it's a really good song. Yeah, that's it. I, I'm not saying this fucking guy, like, I don't fucking know Michael Jackson, dude. Yeah. Like, he, doesn't, he doesn't know me either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I just like this song. But and, and, also, and maybe we're wrong for feeling that way, but but I don't think I don't. I, I mean, honestly, I have my opinion, so I don't. I'm not going to say I I'm honestly, wrong. I honestly don't think so. No, and, uh, because here's also another problem, right? So you you become that person if you can't detach, and also if you can't detach, you become one of those people that R. Kelly has all these things come out, and literally so much information that if by some miracle he didn't do any of it, it would be like the. Like, how many times do you have to be in the wrong place at the wrong time? You know right. what I'm saying? Yes. Like, for all this to not add up, yeah. it would be like, dude, this, it's just, you just, you just did it. Yeah. We know you did. Yeah. You know, that's it. And and the scary thing is, though, it's like, you look at guys like DMX, right? Like, DMX goes to jail, like, every, like, six months, right? For something that he does. And you're going to tell me that it took this long to catch R. Kelly, though? I don't know. 
It's very strange. It's what the fuck. But what I was saying before is like not being able to detach, you become one of those people that when R. Kelly is like walking out of jail, is like, oh my God, I'd love you, R. Kelly, like free R. Kelly and like whatever. It's like you are choosing to ignore all of these, all of these allegations. Yeah. Because you love his music. And it's like if you were just able to detach yourself from that and know that you love his music and not him as a person. Right. Then you would like be able to be like, wait, hold on, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean. But like, that's just how I feel about no, it. No, no, I think I think you should be able to. Also, sorry, no, no, to no, cut sorry. you off. The a report came out that R. Kelly, as soon as he posted uh, bail, he went straight to the McDonald's where he used to pick up, where he allegedly picked up a girl uh, on her prom night in like 1998. Went straight there. Yeah, this guy also married Aaliyah when she was like 15. Yeah. Like, there's documentation here. Yeah. You know, there's legal documents. At the end of the day, if if nothing is true, he married Aaliyah when she was 15. Yeah. There's something there already. Like, that happened. Yeah. Why should we not believe this other shit? Right. Yeah. It's like the, it's like the kid cries wolf, but the opposite. But it's the- like, yeah, yeah, I'm believing all these cries now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's one of those situations, like, like, so on a other scale, like, like, I don't wear my Gucci glasses anymore. Okay. Cause they, cause they had like that blackface fucking thing. Right. Like, am I ever going to be able to wear those again? I mean, people are going to wear Gucci. I, I, I know. That's the hard part. And the sad reality of it is, yeah, you are. Probably. But at some point I'll put them on. Probably. Here's the thing. I think that I don't know the whole history behind the Gucci thing. Right. Nor do I can I comprehend what blackface means. Like how hurtful it actually is yeah, to black people. The, so yeah, I I, I don't even know. But if it was just like a one off mistake that they've made before that they that they made. Right. Then obviously I think there's room for forgiveness there. Right. But I have no because I don't know what the fuck about Gucci. Yeah. If there's like a pattern of like they've done this like multiple times and it's just like they're taking these little sub shots at like the culture. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's certain parts of uh Gucci's like Italian, right? Yes. Of Italian culture that I say would be like, you know, there's like slavery and like whatever, and it's like if choose to not celebrate that part you know what i'm saying yeah like we don't celebrate fucking you know slavery in a way we're like oh yo let's just like take these like sub shots put them on shirts and shit yeah you know like don't don't do that yeah don't monetize it yeah because if that's if that's what's going on then like yeah fuck them yeah that's insane well then like also a lot of times though it's like especially in the hip-hop community a lot of a lot of those people in those communities are trendsetters so like they're wearing your shit. Yeah, and Gucci, I think, I would say, before Duh. this happened, was, like, the most popular one. Yeah. Like, then, everyone was buying And then shit. a part of me feels like these fucking companies don't want rappers wearing their shit. I don't know about that. I don't think they do. Why? Because I just Cause feel... Because they're like, racist. Yeah. <laughs> so I, think, I think the fashion industry is a little bit racist. I mean... You know? And then Burberry put out a thing that had a noose on it. What? You didn't see that? They had a hoodie that had a noose on it. No, they didn't. Yes. Like rope. Yes, a rope. I'm looking this up. It's like they're either like supremely oblivious or like. Who put it out? Burberry. Just type in like Burberry noose hoodie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, like, what are we doing here? What is wrong with you? That's what I'm saying, yo. Yo, honestly, this is an easy no. That's an easy no. Like, if you showed that to me, you're like, yo, let's go out. I'd be like, you know what? Let's put that one back in the closet. Let's put the noose down, <laughs> dude. That one's worse. Yo, this is like a blatant. Yes. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. But it's like, you know, it's like. That's why I haven't been wearing like my Gucci shit. Because of that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, then, I, but then I'm gonna feel like a hypocrite if I ever put them back on. But I just think that, like that's like part of life. Yeah, but it's also I don't know. It's 
I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't know enough about like. Well, I look at it like this though too. I like, just I I only saw the shirt. And yeah, that's it. It's like listen, I love what Colin Kaepernick's doing, but I love football. <laughs> you know, it's tough. Yeah, and, you know, and he listen, he got his he got his money. He they settled like seventy million. You know what I mean? And then he'll and then he'll take that money from the NFL and he'll he'll build his brand and and it will do what he does in his community. Yeah, I don't know. We yeah. talked about it on, on Veterans Minimum a lot. How, how, how do you feel about it? About Kaepernick? Yeah. Well, the argument was, does it upset you that he settled? Because we're all on board, obviously, with Colin Kaepernick's like message. Or right, right, right. I think the fact that people were upset about it was kind of ridiculous. What did they say? That he like copped out for settling? Well, it was just kind of like devil's advocate of being like, there are some people who, who are like, they feel like he kind of copped out in a way. And I, I don't really see it that way at all because my, my fight wasn't with the – his fight wasn't with the NFL. They blackballed him. Yeah. And they prevented him from being paid. That's my – my well-being is the NFL. is my job. And yeah. you guys are not letting me in, which is ridiculous. Like, he should have been on a roster no matter what. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's There's too some horrible quarterbacks out there. Terrible. So like how is Nathan Petterman, like, an actor? Starting games. Yeah. And, and he's yeah. not on a – so, like, uh, he was clearly blackballed by the league. They were going to – they had a court date. And then the NFL settled. So what does that tell you? Yeah. If they go to court, they have to turn in all their phones and messages. They would have found all the shit, and they would have looked like assholes. I think settling makes them look like assholes anyway. So you did what you ha- originally wanted to set out to do, right? Yeah. You brought out all of the this. Uh, you brought attention to, uh, you know, cops doing these things to to African Americans and whoever, and uh, the NFL looks like idiots now. Yeah. Because. Viewership dropped off. Yeah. Now they settled, which makes them look guilty. Yes. You got your money, and now you you. And now you could take that money and put it in your community yeah. now. They, but they, the only uh, the part that, um, people have a problem with is he signed an NDA, with them a non disclosure agreement that he can't speak about, the collusion case with the NFL. Yeah. But to me, it's like whatever. Who cares? Like this NFL thing is so secondary to what I was actually kneeling. About. But what does he have to disclose? We all saw what happened. Yeah. There's nothing to disclose. They just don't want him to just like shit, shit on, shit, shit on, on the league, league. continuously shit on the league. Shit on the league. So they want, also, they want people to eventually forget about it. If I was him, I'd go play in the AFL or the XFL or the XFL. Yeah. Fuck the NFL. Yeah. You got your money from them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Why would I go? I wouldn't go, but I wouldn't. And but look at Robert Kraft though. This guy takes a knee, loses his job. Robert Kraft's out here getting fucking hand chops. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if, I mean, he, if, if you get caught getting hand jobs like that, yeah. you think, do you think he should be forced to sell his team? It's just a hand job. I know, but you're you're paying and, you're and breaking then the it, law. It, it, breaking the law and they could be human trafficking through these places. If there's human trafficking, that is different than getting jerked. Right. But I'm saying if you're getting jerked at a place that they're running human trafficking. Oh, through, yeah. But if he knows. Who knows? Apparently, there was a group of them. I don't have all the information, so I don't want to sandbag anybody here. But right. what I'm saying is this. If you get caught with something like that. Human trafficking? Let's say it, it was soliciting prostitution. Should he have to be suspended from the league? Suspended, sure. But I don't think you should sell your team. You shouldn't have to sell your team, right? Dude, you know how many these old fucking white dudes fuck hookers? That's what I'm saying. He's they, worth six point six billion. You can't get jerked off at home. That's what I'm saying. Why bro? do you have to go there? You literally don't have to pay for this. You can helicopter eleven people and they suck your penis. Yeah. That would be willing to do it. Yeah. Not people that fucking they brought there in a goddamn van. God knows where they these fucking poor people came from. I don't get it. I don't know why successful people like paying for sex. Because they have everything. And they want the thrill of this weird shit. I guess so. That makes sense. Where they're like, oh, I want you to like beat me with candles. Yeah, dude. Like, If you're like so rich and you can have everything, just whatever you want, sooner or later you're going to want some weird shit because you have everything else. Speaking of weird shit, did you see that Cardi B, Dan Blazarian thing? What? Cardi B posted a picture with Dan uh, Blazarian. Bilzarian or Blazarian? Not sure. All right. So whatever, Blazarian or whatever. They took a picture together. Yeah. And in one photo on hers, isn't photoshopped. On Dan Blazarian's page, he photoshopped her stomach and her butt. What? Yeah. To like make her look like skinnier. Yes. I feel like if anyone would, it would make more sense if she did it. That's what I thought. 
But she was like, yo, I'm here with, like, at an event with, like, Dan Blazarian, and here I am. And then if you go to his page, it's so photoshopped. It's insane. Hold on. Like, that's either a marketing ploy or you're just stupid. Let me see. Uh, Cardi B. Yeah. I thought she deleted her Instagram. Wow, it's very noticeable. It's huge how noticeable it is. Why would he do that? That's so weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's fucking weird. His team did that. I'm sure he's not out there on Photoshop. You just fart it again? No. Yeah, he did. What? Yeah, he did. Yeah, that's very strange. It's weird. Why did he like, do that? Did he like throw a woman off a roof once? What? He like threw like a girl off a roof, tried to throw her in her pool, but her leg hit the side of the pool. You never heard that story about him? No. Apparently, she wanted him to do it. She was like, throw me throw, off. Throw you off the roof? Or throw you off like a balcony into a pool like in Vegas somewhere. And she and um, he was she was like, yeah, like, like throw me off. And then like he went to throw her off, but just he like didn't toss her well enough. And she like broke her leg and shit. Yeah. Dude. I don't understand. I really don't understand people. They scare me. I couldn't be one of those like rich like social so socialites. Is that it? Socialites. I don't even know what that means. Like a socialite, like someone that just like parties at night, and you're famous for like partying. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like how Paris Hilton was just like, "Hey, I'm Paris Hilton." Oh yeah, and I'm just gonna go out and just do this and do this, and like for some reason people just started taking pictures of her. Yeah, I don't know. Like that's just such a weird life. Like you just club for a living. I, I don't even like going out that much. I know. I'll just be like, fuck this. I'm, no, just, I'm hung over every day. I just want to be alone. I just want to be out of everyone's way. I just want to be comfortable. Like my, like I look at life like this in a way I'm like, I just want to be comfortable. I want to be free, like debt free, um, happy and just comfortable. Like, do you think look, no, no, no. Cause they were talking about this on the breakfast club. Um, DJ envy and killer Mike. Would you, do you think most people strive to be millionaires or most people strive to be comfortable? Millionaires, probably. I would say the opposite. No, I think the the logical thing is to, to chase being comfortable. But I think most people like they hear millionaire. Right. They don't really think about being comfortable because a lot of people, it never ends. Like, yeah, that's why you see these people who have billion dollar companies and they're like not paying their people well, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. So, I think the right answer is comfortable. That's what you should chase. Right. But people don't do that. Yeah. You looking up that thing I told you to look up? No. Oh. I, I wanted to give some shout outs before we wrap up here uh, on, the, on oh. the basement yard. All right. Can we just talk real quick about that stranded train? What? There's a stranded Amtrak train with 183 passengers on it. One? How the fuck does a train get stranded? electrical problem yeah but how do you not just the doors open and just get people out of there yeah i'll kick the window in if anything Help. that's what i mean can you look it up what is it? What i is think it? it was in alaska or some shit amtrak tr stranded train uh so probably not alaska all right just type in just stranded amtrak train okay all right a any news for more than 36 hours. 36 hours? Yeah. A train with nearly 200 people on board that had been stranded in deep snow. Oh, deep snow. Oh. How the fuck does a train get stuck in snow? You get a snowed in train? This isn't adding up. Global warming. The train originally en route to, <laughs> to Los Angeles will return to Seattle after receiving maintenance in Eugene. Like, whatever city that was. So I guess it, like, snowed on the fucking... I guess it's not. Yeah, look, it snowed on the. It was crazy snow, so they just had to just sit and wait for what though? What do you wait for? Someone's got to like shovel the tracks. That's yeah. That's thirty six hours. Wait, how do we not like have heaters on the tracks? That's what I'm saying. That doesn't make any sense. How the fuck do people get stranded on a train? Two hundred people? Fuck that. It was a random, a re record setting snowfall. I didn't know snow could stop trains. Well, it's electric. Boogie woogie woogie. Yeah, but yeah, you think of the snows, the snow we have here. The subway always runs. We're underground. No, the, you have the one, the the one out here, the above. Oh air yeah, one. yeah, yeah. I I don't know. Dude. That should be running, dog. That picture you sent me of that thing that went through. The thing fell off the subway and went through the fucking window. 
Oh, yeah, there was like a giant... It was like Final Destination. That shit would have killed somebody, man. Yeah. Dude. That picture was insane. If that happens That's why me, I don't take the train. It's a wrap. If that happens to me, I'm like, yo, I can't, I can't do this. Um, all right, let's get some shout-outs right here before we uh, end the show. Um, these are our patrons. We just want to give a quick shout-out to them. You know what I'm saying? Geneva. Um, Dreiger. Dreiger, great name. John Hubble. Nicole Ann Gopez. Joe Herrera. Christian Hearn. Logan Peterson. Matthew Arani. Uh, Sharice Reddy, Kia Gray, uh, who else we got? Samantha Dennis, uh, Brenna Kay, Alexandra Perez, Alex Brath, Christian Rivera, Megan Lux. Thank you guys for being patrons of the Basement Yard. We appreciate it so much. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, we if, just, uh, you know, if you guys want to come support the show, you can head over to Patreon, patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. Uh, some extra content there. You get every episode a week early also. Okay? Hell yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Danny, that's where can it. they find you? Uh, at Danny Lopiori on Twitter and Instagram, and not on a stranded fucking train. Yep, and you guys go follow the show at The Basement Yard on Instagram. That is all. See you guys next time. Peace.